No intervention is conflict neutral. Each one takes place in a unique, complex and constantly evolving context. Whatever their aims, the presence and activity of all those in the area will affect local dynamics. They become part of the context. And IOM staff must be aware of the likely consequences, both intended and unintended, of their actions and even their very presence. Conflict sensitivity is a key principle applying to all of IOM's work. It means anticipating how an intervention is likely to affect the context in order to avoid negative impacts and create positive change. Conflict, in this context, does not necessarily mean violence. It can also refer to latent disagreements, power dynamics or inequities that can lead to social problems. Learning about the local context, how power is distributed, who is marginalized, people's social standing, their access to resources is the first step to understanding how this may all be affected by an intervention. Our very presence may affect this dynamic. Negative effects can be exacerbating pre-existing tensions and vulnerabilities, destabilizing markets, supporting conflict actors, and even impacting leadership and policy. Even if assistance logic is clear, who is included and who is excluded can create conflict, disenfranchisement or lasting resentments. Conflict sensitivity can not only help to prevent these negative effects, but also to identify opportunities to make positive change. IOM can actively engage in projects that transform conflict dynamics to help build peace. For example, encouraging collaboration between divided communities on projects for mutual benefit or ensuring equitable participation in decision-making processes. Conflict sensitivity is relevant at the strategic and operational levels. Proposal developers can use conflict analysis in their planning, accounting for conflict and interactions in the results and risk matrix. Additionally, conflict sensitivity can be budgeted in the project. For example, to enable conflict analysis to take place during project inception and as part of the monitoring or to build capacity of staff and partners to address conflict issues as part of their work. Project managers and project teams should work with conflict sensitivity in mind. Reflecting both intended and unintended outcomes in monitoring and evaluation can help spot and address conflict challenges as part of IOM's programming. Chiefs of missions can integrate conflict analysis into mission strategies looking at the big picture of how missions can affect national and regional power dynamics. For more information or support, do not hesitate to reach out to trdcoregrouphq@iom.int.